So an update with the Sling TSI build. This week I worked on the center fuselage, the firewall, uh, and did some tank testing on the right fuel tank. So this week I worked on the center fuselage. So you can see here is the, uh, the main spar carry through and the rear spar uh, carry through, I guess. The, uh, the, the center fuselage also has like a double floor and you insulate both sides of it. Uh, so that's what you see here. Uh, I've got all these channels in place and uh, uh, some reinforcing plates. Uh, but this was, uh, this was pretty rewarding. It went together pretty fast. I think one day I got all this built, maybe two day and a half. And uh, this is a doubler plate for the transponder that goes in that center front fuselage. Uh, I had to cut out and enlarge the hole in the, the upper part of the floor just so I could get to the bolts later. Uh, again, this is uh, after I set those main assemblies on the skins. Uh, and then this is with the skins starting, I started clecoing them on. Uh, that's the gear channel. This is the other side of, you can see the spar carry throughs and the gear channel is uh, what you see in green, sort of in the center there. It's where the landing gear will bolt in. Uh, starting to get the rivets put into place. Uh, you can see here, I put Pro Seal. These are stainless steel, I guess they're heavy duty rivets. Uh, and I put a lot of Pro Seal on them. Um, I had some left over, so and up from a pint, um, and uh, I used that instead of some of the other corrosion inhibitors. Uh, I got a lot of squeeze out, kind of it encapsulated the uh, rivet pretty good. I felt uh, that's what I was looking at here. So I think we'll have some good corrosion resistance for years to come, which is the goal here. Uh, because I used it generously, you see I got a lot of squeeze out because I was trying to really push it into the cavity, into the, the spar carry through. Uh, so I had a lot of cleanup to do. Uh, the first thing I did was just wiped it off with some disposable shop towels, uh, which really just made a mess. But uh, it did thin it out a little bit so that when I went back with some MEK later, uh, it wasn't so thick uh, and I was able to wash it off. Um, so here you can kind of see I've got uh, the holes that you can rivet riveted. I got the, all the Pro Seal cleaned off. Uh, so that was good. And um, actually, I don't think I have any pictures of it, but I also filled all these rivets. So that's been done and they've all been sanded down. I don't think I have any pictures of that. So uh, then today I started working on the firewall. Uh, this is just doing the assembly. Um, I'm missing a few parts on like the trim ring that goes around it. So uh, I didn't get any farther than that at this point. So I tested the right fuel tank uh, a few days ago and I used a low pressure gauge that was just suggestion of uh, someone on the uh, Sling Builders Facebook page. I guess he got the idea from somebody else. But anyway, I bought this off Amazon with a link he had. Um, I had two little pinprick holes that were leaking air and that were causing bubbles. Um, you can sort of see an area between a couple purple marks there and then down a little bit. Um, what I did was I mixed up some Pro Seal and I sort of put a bead of caulk <laughs> in that area um, to fill in that, that where I had the leak. Um, we'll see if that works. I hope so, because I don't want to take the tank apart. Uh, this is just how I pressure uh, sort of sealed up the tank. I thought I'd gotten some AN6 caps, but I, I only bought one. I thought I bought two. Uh, so I used some parts from the uh, Firewall Forward kit and just sort of ran a a hose to a hose so it sealed up the tank. Uh, this is just sort of where I ended the uh, the progress on the center fuselage today and uh, I think it looks pretty good. Um, the, I'm missing some bushings on the controls so uh, I can't really go any further until I get those. also spent a couple hours peeling plastic on the rest of sort of the the covers and the everything that's too big for my Aladine tanks that I'm going to prime. Uh, so tomorrow I'm going to prime everything. Anyway, that's it for this week. Uh, like and subscribe. Um, you'll keep getting alerts when I post updates. Uh, thanks. Have a good weekend.